Hey folks, welcome back to the club. I'm Josh, this is Cassie, and today we're going to be tasting through our bar. More specifically, our whiskey collection. Woo! Oh yeah. For better or worse, we have uh, 29 different whiskeys. I mean, look, I love whiskey, but there are moments where Josh will be like, ooh, we should get this one. And I'm like, we have 50 bottles of whiskey at home. And he's like, it's not 50, it's 29. And then I'm like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's... You, wanna get no. the you gotta get the numbers, right? Sure, I guess. Um, we have too much whiskey, but like also, can you have too much whiskey? Some of them are mostly empty. Some of them are very special. Some of them are more uh, collector-y, but not really. We don't have a lot of collector bottles. But I some of them are them collector. Like, no, no, no. We don't have any really like expensive, expensive no. uh, whiskeys. It's mostly just stuff that we like and we want to have on hand. Or that are special to us in some other way. Yeah. Like we have, we'll show you. Yeah. So we are going to go through and uh, have a little taste of all of them. Um, a teeny, teeny, tiny taste. A teeny, taste. tiny taste of all of them because it's 29 after all. That's too many. It's a lot. Uh, to have a lot so, of. I mean, 29 shots, you'll be dead. So we can't do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have 29 little, little, tasty, little tasty poos. Uh, and if it gets to be too much, we'll split this up. So. All right. We are going to Wait, start. We didn't tell them that we had the baby. We had a baby. We had the baby. That's why I'm drinking. We had a baby, eats a boy. That's a throwback commercial. Yep. Some of you will remember that. Hopefully. I guess any, well, I don't know. Not anyone of drinking age would necessarily have seen that commercial. No, some people of drinking age are born in the year 1999. Stop. Stop. 1999. Stop. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, no, it, it's Mark. He had a baby. It's a boy. Yeah. That's yeah. Uh, for collect calls. Yeah. Right? We had a baby. Mm -hmm. um, well, we, I, I had a baby. And I um, was there. Yes, Josh attended. Um, <laughs> and yeah, he's, I mean, it's been a little bit, but he's almost five months old. Yeah. He's cute. He's great. Very cute. He's he asleep. Thank God. So now we drink. Heck yeah. We're going to start off with bourbon and then go to rye and then go to other. And then we're going to finish off with scotch. Not for any real reason, that's just uh, kind of what we want, the, the order we are going to prefer to drink them in today. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I wanted to say scotch for last, because yeah. scotch is my favorite. And for anybody who is wondering, yes, I am breastfeeding. He is sleeping through the night though, so he doesn't eat at night. Yeah. Um, so in case anybody is like, oh my God, she's getting wasted and then she's going to feed the baby. No, it's fine, don't worry about it. It'll be gone by the morning, that's how liquor metabolizes. All good. Yeah. It's All right. Bourbons. Is that it? That's it. No kidding. <laughs> uh, lately. Oh, it's, we've been on, we, we get all those empire rise. Yeah. We've been on a bit of a rye kick, which you'll see. Living in New York, there's a empire rye, which is a new um, designation. Designation. A new designation of uh, whiskey. It's official as of pretty recently. Specific to, to New York State, Empire Rye. Very delicious. We're going to go through some of those. Later. We've, yeah. And that's my, we've been kind of, I've been a little too focused on the rye in my whiskey purchasing recent past. But also we have, I mean, you got to, you got to give yourself a little credit here. Do you think that most people have three different bottles of bourbon in their house? Most people, no. Okay, that's that's my, it's like, Whiskey you're like, oh, drinkers? Man, I only yeah. have three different bottles of bourbon? <gasps> oh, no. Yeah. Only three? <laughs> yes. Anyway, so, ahead. we'll be starting with uh, these three. So, why don't we start with the one that's almost done, uh, Old Granddad High Rye Mash Bill, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Even this bourbon is not even... The granddaddy of bourbon. This is what Josh calls the table bourbon. It's the table bourbon. Leave a comment down below if you have a table bourbon. Nobody has a, that's not a thing. It's a thing. No, it's not. It's a thing. He, he's referring to it like Help table, me out. table wine, yes. that like you have like a, a 
a not great wine for the table and it's like the table wine. Nobody has a not great wine. It's gonna have to be a lot smaller than that. That's so small. You gave me more than you gave you. Well, we like... can switch. <gasps> We're fine. It was such a small amount, it didn't spill. It's true. Leave a comment down below though, if you have a table bourbon. Cheers. Yeah, totally fine. Easy drinking, you know, easy, uh, great, great for mixing cocktails. That's why you have a table bourbon. Oh my God. <laughs> but it's good. It's got a kind of a nice citrusy quality to it. Moving right along to Old Granddad 114. So same brand, this is 114 proof. So also great in cocktails because that high proof is really gonna cut through a lot of other ingredients um, and the bourbon won't get overpowered. I didn't know we had this. Yeah. <laughs> Tiny little bit. Oh! No, you, that's plenty. Oh my God. There we go. Just a droplet more. Why? Old yeah, are you granddad. worried you're not gonna get enough liquor tonight? Just I'm worried about not tasting. Do you oh. see how, okay, look at how much is in here. I just want you to see yeah. that he's like, this isn't enough. I won't be able to taste it. This is plenty to taste. Cheers. Cheers. Ah, oh, it's much spicier. Yeah. Similar flavor profile though. That Some nice of, spice, also a little bit of citrus in there. Unremarkable, but good. Yeah. All right. No, and no now, offense, old granddad. <laughs> By any stretch, it, that we he's, haven't. He's not listening anymore. It's fine. Like you know, it is good. It's good for it's good for cocktails and it's good yeah. for mixing. Like yeah, it's not special to drink on its own necessarily, but not. In fact, you probably don't want everything to be special to drink on its own. No, there is something to be said for making certain cocktails with very high quality spirits, but also you can get a spirit that tastes just fine for that's that's a little more suited for cocktails and you're also not going to be spending a bunch of money and going through that bottle just on making cocktails, you know, a bunch of times. All right, next up, uh, this is a little bit more uh, special and a little bit more uh, limited, we could say. Um, you can't this purchase is a, this. Not anymore. No. Yeah. So yeah, it is incredibly limited in that it is the most limited. You cannot buy it. Kings County Distillery. Uh, Blenders Select Single Barrel. They uh, had an event. Um, that was a great night. It was a great night. We met the the master blender. Great Such dude. Such a nice guy. We were yeah. wasted. Well, there was a lot of whiskey happening. But they had picked out a bunch of single barrels to release all side by side. So you could get a flight and taste each one and then figure out which one you wanted to buy. Mm -hmm. We bought this one. I mean, you could have bought more than one if you wanted well, yes. to. But they were relatively pricey. Yeah. Single barrels tend to be, you know, smaller run and, please, and all that. Please think small. It Let's came out fast. Josh, I don't, I'm not. All right, we'll split it. Think 30 of these. Just th 30. All right. Cheers. I picked this one out. Cheers. Also oh, chocolatey. A lot of chocolate in there. Mm, Deliciously cocoa. Yeah. Well, Woodsy so and good. chocolatey. I had forgotten how good that one was. Oh yeah. A little bit of cinnamon in there. Oh. Kings County. I love Kings County, man. All right. That's all the bourbons. Now we're gonna move on to the rye. Um, not to alarm you, but three in and I'm like, ooh, I can feel it. All right, So keep them real small. It's rye time. It's high time for rye time. <gasps> we're good. Yep. That's not ambiguous. It's classified as a rye. Jeez Louise. So as you can see, we have a few ryes. Uh, that's been... Sorry. As you can see, we have a few ryes. It's been my, uh, you know, flavor of the many weeks, if you will. Flavor of the year. It's been about... It's been a couple years since we started collecting. Yeah. The Empire Rise specifically. And all of these are Empire Rise. Because. Except for the Peter Rye. Yeah. But I don't really like regular rye. Um, I think it tastes bad. Not, not, it doesn't taste bad. I don't like it. So we don't normally keep, I mean, 
you can have it for you, I suppose. But like, yeah. I am much more behind the purchase of an Empire Rye because I like the way they taste most of the time. Not all the time. I actually don't like all of these. <laughs> That's true. There are favorites. I like yeah. all of them for their own uh, special well, reasons. I think that you and I are different in that, well, in lots of ways. <laughs> um, but I, I think that you could probably taste almost anything and be like, that's good. Like there's something good about it. Yeah. Whereas I, there are things I definitely don't like. All right. Let's see. Where should we start? The very beginning. All right. It's a very good place to start. It's a very good place to start. Can you maybe begin with? Do, re, A, B, C. When you sing, you begin with Do, do re, re, Mi. Do, All right. Re, we're not. No, no, no. We're not doing that. Do, re, no, 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 no. The first no, 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 no. I'm going to move some of these out of the way. All right, so why don't we start with... Why don't we start with the peated rye? I like that you're fully Yeah, no. Ignoring. Fully ignoring. Fully ignoring. Just done with I'm just my making bullshit. this up as we go along. Peated rye. Why are we starting with... The, no, no. That doesn't make sense. Because this is a good, like, like intermediary between the, the weird stuff and the, the sure. rye, right? All right, all right, all right. We are going to start with the Kings County Empire Rye, batch number one. First batch they made. Boop. Boop. That's, yeah, that's good. I know this doesn't look like a lot, everyone. It's enough for me to taste it, and I, like... As you witnessed, haven't been drinking, so. Cheers. Cheers. It tastes a lot like their bourbon, not their single barrel bourbon. Yeah, it's got some similarities. I think it's definitely still got more spice to it. Yeah. Being a rye, but very delicious. I think it might also have a little bit more honey. A little more honey. Yeah. A little more baking spices. I never, what does baking spices mean to you? It's like, you know, the like warming baking spices, like cinnamons and nutmegs and cloves and things like that. Okay. But it's not any like one specific. It's just kind of that. I've seen that as a tasting note and I'm always like. Yeah. I bake. There are many baking spices. It's true. Like, any spice mean? can be baked. And like. You can bake with any spice. Yeah. But like the, the flavor say. profile of ginger and the flavor profile of cinnamon are very different. Yeah. And so, like, saying baking spices, I'm like, well, yeah, I guess baking spices, but, like, what are baking spices? <sighs> baking spices. Next up, Kings County Empire Rye, batch number two. Get this back over here. All right. Cheers. Mmm. That's really different. Yeah, that one's got a lot more punch to it, a lot more body. Um, body, yaddy, yaddy. Body, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. You can't do that. You're gonna get copyright stricken. I was just saying body over and over and over. Body, 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 body. We're not gonna get copyright stricken. We're not monetized. Can, <laughs> One they, day. They can still copyright strike us. We just. They just won't get any money. It wouldn't and we affect won't, they us won't get, at all. They will get the not money that we are getting. I have no idea how any of that works. Yeah. Um, I also think it's like a little grassier. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing I don't like about rye is how grassy it is. So. Sometimes it's got like a, a grassy, earthy, sometimes funkiness. I usually like funky though. Depends on the funky. Yeah, that's true. You look like a funky, rubbery taste in scotch, but not a... We'll get there. <laughs> All rubbery. Right. Yeah. Hudson... Rye, uh, they actually just recently rebranded all of their all of their whiskeys. So this uh, technically doesn't exist anymore. Now all their whiskeys are older. We went to Hudson Valley yep. for Josh's thirtieth birthday oh. last year. Oh, okay. well, and they were they had just, just gotten dox auto. my age. I'm sorry. Do they? Do you want people to say how old do you want people to think you are? 21. You with a child? No. On purpose? No. No shade. You can have a child at 21. But yeah. like, we are not 21. No. 
Cheers. It's like an almost menthol equality, huh? Yeah. Weird. I can get that. It's got some, yeah, some menthol y, almost herbaceousness to it. Yeah, it's weird. But there's definitely still some like peppery spice in there. Yeah. Yeah. But what I was saying is that we went to um, up to Hudson Valley for Josh's 30th and did a bunch of different whiskey tours. Little distillery tour, distillery it was crawl. Very fun. It was it was a blast. Oh yeah. Um, would recommend once this is done to this being the pandemic, not this video. Um, but the bar there was great. Yes. Great cocktails, um, great pours, and they, it was just a fun place to hang out. Oh yeah, highly recommend when we're in the after times. Well, that sounds that sounds scary. Post pandemic. Yeah, that sounds less scary. <laughs> That's going to be a genre for like music or something. It's post pandemic rock. Next whiskey, Mackenzie straight rye whiskey. This is from Finger Lakes Distilling. No, we haven't ever been there, right? Yes, we have. We have? We did a wine tour in Ithaca uh, oh, oh, in the oh, Finger Lakes. But that's not when we got this. It's not when we got this. No. no. But we started, we, we were doing a, a day of, uh, of you know, wine, um, visiting wineries, a wine, you know, wine tour. And we started off the day at 10 a.m. by going to a distillery. The distillery uh, that was the in distillery yeah. that was in the area. Uh, I don't know why we decided that was the place to start, but we started with such things as gin, grappa. whiskey, and grappa. Yeah. Why not? Um, we did. This is their empire rack. At the end of that day, end up taking a nap in the cidery Ooh. parking lot. That's true. We were all so tired. I think it was our, I think that was our last place that we had picked on the list. On the cidery, yeah. And we got to the parking lot and we were all like, let's just relax in the van. It'll be fine. And we all took Everyone a nap. Everyone. Everybody napped. Yeah. And we all woke up like, ugh. And we, we did end up going we're into the cidery yeah. and getting, getting drinks there. Cheers. Cheers. There we go. That was that like menthol flavor. That one has a lot that? of cinnamon for me. You might have still had a residual from this. It's very possible. Maybe a little rinse. You get a lot of cinnamon from that, like cinnamon and maple. Really nice. Now I want to try that again, but I'm not going to. <laughs> well, we still have that much of it. Time to swap. Second half of the rise. We've got Van Brunt Distillery here in Brooklyn as well. This is their regular Empire Rye. What's up? I was seeing, or no, the, these two are Van Brunt and those, okay. The bottles are the same, so I was confused. Whoop. <gasps> it's fine. It's fine. <gasps> Cheers. Cheers. Oh. So wait, what is this? Just their Empire Rye. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I get some cocoa in there. A uh, nice woodsy, oaky flavor as well. And then the spice to be expected from a rye. Something's wrong with my mouth. Because I taste that, but you know what I also, you know what it is? I think it's what the it? woody taste is like getting like a little bit, it's not, I think it's just the woody. Because I think that like my brain is equating the woody with a kind of mentholated. You gotta stop saying woody. The woody? It's my last name, bro. It's not. Sorry. It's not woody. The woodiness, <laughs> the wood flavoring, or the hard on, if you will. Wow. Making fun of me for saying woody. Ugh. It's like coming across in my mouth as a little bit mentholated, but like I think that just might be the woodiness. Yeah. I fixed it. Thank you. <laughs> Next up, also from Van Brunt, also an Empire Rye, but this is their Distiller's Edition made with a perennial rye developed at Cornell. This is our newest bottle, right? Yeah, it is. I had to think about it. It is our newest bottle. I was like, did you buy something else since then? No. That was pretty recent. No. We got this in the pandemic. We have got, we went to the event for this. Oh, Which sorry. they, I will say right now, um, I don't know what they're doing outside right now because it's cold out, but they are... Um, Gave you too much. Their bar situation is they do a, they're, they're doing a bar on their loading dock. Yeah. And it's outdoors. 
and they're very careful about keeping people six feet apart there. And yeah. we went in what was it, October? Yeah, it was a pretty nice day. It was gorgeous. It was sunny and beautiful. Good day and to be out in a loading dock drinking whiskey. We took the baby. Yeah. And they were very nice. There was music. It was lovely. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to Van Brunt. Mm -hmm. Similar to their other rye, but I get a lot of uh, like surprising fruity notes from it. Like I'm getting like I stone fruit this... flavors. It's another one of those, like, what does that mean? Um, stone fruits, peaches, plums. Those taste very different. Anyway, um, I like this one a lot better. And yeah. I like this one. This one doesn't have as much of the the wood flavor. Yeah, I like this one a lot better. I think that you're right that the fruitiness makes it taste better. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I think that um, the the tasting notes game, it's like it's like a lingo, right? Because like yeah, because like there is like a quality that makes you say stone fruit. Mm -hmm. But I think that if you ate a peach and then ate a plum. You'd be like, these are completely different flavors, right? Yeah, but it's it's in that world. But like peaches when and plums aren't even in the same world, though. You can't. All right, I'll talk to the tasting note board. Yeah, well, but you, but do you know what I mean? Where yes. it's like, I guess like you could say like a, a peach and a nectarine taste pretty similar. Yeah. But like you put a plum in there, not similar. Anyway, I the, the tasting notes for scotch are always make me laugh because it's always like brine and burnt rubber and I'm like this sounds deeply unpleasant but they taste good but like yeah. yeah a hard life out on the ocean away from your family and also tastes like despair wheat <laughs> despair and honey next up we have the copper sea bottled in bond empire rye whiskey uh this one is 100 proof because it's bottled in bond um also if I remember correctly, this is 100% rye. No other grain. I really like Copper Sea generally. I don't really like this particular bottle. Mm -hmm. um, I like Copper Sea generally. I don't love this bottle in particular. It's a little bit too much for me. Um, Copper Sea is really interesting because they have their own floor malting. Uh, yeah. which not a lot of uh, American distilleries do. Um, and they malt their rye, which I don't know if anyone else does. I'm sure someone else does, but I, I don't know of them. Um, so, and it gives it, it gives it really uh, interesting, complex character, I think. Yeah. No, it's delicious. Yeah. Um, and also I like visiting there was so cool. Yeah. It's probably my favorite. It's hard to say, but I, I want to say that's my favorite distillery that I've ever visited. No, absolutely not. But yeah, we'll get no. to we'll get to the other one later. How can you say we'll that? Get to, we've been we'll to get to Isla. it later. We'll get to it later. We have been to Isla. You cannot say that Copper Sea. You can say that Copper Sea is your favorite distillery in America. That's probably what it is. Yes. Cheers. You liked it because it reminded you of Isla. Hmm. You know what? I put a drop of water in there to yeah. give it a fighting chance. Yeah. That amount of water to that small amount of whiskey made that taste infinitely better. So, so like, you want a little more dilution with that? I do. That's fair. But it it's good. Yeah. Um, it's really uh, rich and mouth coating. Um, I get a lot of like. Like it, there's a point when I'm tasting it that it tastes like I just have caramel in my mouth. And then you're looking at me like, well, you're looking like I'm saying crazy things. Because that's, but this that's is a what crazy I'm tasting. thing to say. Uh, so there's that sweetness, like it's caramel, but then there's a really interesting complex uh, earthiness for, I guess, lack of a better or more specific word um, that balances that out really well for me. The way that you're describing it makes it sound like a Willy Wonka, like everlasting gone <laughs> It's like, an experience. Like when you're like, oh, it's in my mouth and it solidifies and becomes a caramel that I can chew. 
Yeah. And then it turns into a whole turkey dinner. It's magic. Like, okay. Sure. Sure, Jan. All right, moving on then. <laughs> what did done? you taste? Whiskey. I didn't I didn't hate it, which was the thing that made me surprised. Yes. Uh, next up, also from Copper Sea, this is their single barrel rye, uh, single barrel Empire rye that we got. Sorry, not an Empire rye. Single barrel rye. Close call. And this was actually when we did the tour. This is the bottle that you picked out. Yes. This was my favorite of the group. Because, like, hmm, their stuff is very intense, I will say. Yes. I think, yeah, because of the, because of some of their heritage methods, as they mm -hmm. call them. Their, you know, the floor malting that they do. Um, and I think they generally have... Uh, higher proof i mean the single barrel is almost 100 proof yeah so i mean it's not that it's higher proof it's and, and maybe that's part of it yeah but they are closer to the ooh, sorry bottles on there Chicken they spot. sorry um they are closer in flavor to the kinds of rides i don't like sure those more intense i like the grassy flavors earthiness is not my thing. Yeah. Generally. Oh, Single barrel. This. Copper sea. Cheers. See, that's good. It's nice and sweet. Definitely more sweet than than this one. Less of that um, earthiness or, or grassiness. Um, very nice, though. Ah, oh, so good. Um, this one is more spicy for me than this one was. Like that, like, forward spiciness that you get from yeah that. no i can feel it on the top of my tongue yeah but um the end flavor like in the the most of the flavor is it actually reminds me more of the flavor profile of a scotch yeah i can see that that's why i think that might be why i like it more. yeah because like the that that tongue honey feel yeah the which is one of the main reasons why i like scotch is like it i the I, drinking scotch is the reason that I like drinking liquor at all. Um, that was like, your that was your entry into actually enjoying uh, drinking it. To, yeah, for for the way it tasted and yeah yeah. But I, when I was a child, my dad drank scotch, and I would smell it, and I'd be like, "This tastes like straight, this smells like straight gasoline." And then I taste it, and I said, "This tastes like straight gasoline." And I did that until it tasted like honey, and I was like, "This Ooh, is amazing." Where did this come from? Last but not least of the rye is peated rye from Kings County. Uh, also a limited run. I think they, I think they do a limited run of this maybe once a year, or every other year. Mm -hmm. um, it tends to be a little on the pricier side. I don't remember even how much this was, but it's a 200 milliliter bottle. Um, I think it was more expensive than a 200 millimeter bo milliliter bottle usually is. 200 milliliter. Yeah. Well, we're, we're switching, right? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Kings County, peated rye. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's good. That's so interesting. Peat. Yeah. Nice and rich and spicy from the rye. And then you get that. It's not super smoky. It's not like a super peaty... Uh, you know, Isla Scotch or anything like that. No, the smoke just kind of filters like in on your olfactory. It's nice. It's very nice. Mm. Moving on to the other category. Not the other category, because we have two more categories, but the other category. Yes. All right. So we have our other category. We also have an interesting discovery. When we were counting the bottles, we forgot to count our white rye from Van Brunt. So it's a nice round 30. We have a problem in this household. <laughs> well. I also, the other thing is that we don't buy all of these. Yeah. I mean, like Maybe as you buy some of them, but this like, was a gift. This was a gift. This was a gift. A lot of these are gifts. Yeah. Um, people will, people know that we like whiskey. So like if we're doing a housewarming or something, when we did our housewarming for this apartment, people brought us whiskey and I was like, we don't need more whiskey. I think we gained three bottles of whiskey that night. Yeah. And the, Great night. 
Yeah. But, like, for your birthday, people got you whiskey. It's true. You know? It's like, people buy Josh whiskey. Keep those bottles coming. And somebody, I, I actually, I got a bottle of whiskey recently gifted to me. By you. That's true. We'll, we'll get to that. Yes. All right. Why don't we start with our sneaky white rye? It's it's not it's it's rye, but like it it can live in the other category. It's okay. It's true. So it's an unaged rye. Um, Just a little bit of this one, all right. Similar I know what it to like. yeah. Similar to how you know, like a like a moonshine is an unaged bourbon, unaged rye. Cheers. Mellow for a moonshine. Yeah. Oh, it's very great. corny. Um, not for drinking on its own. Very grain forward. Uh, not it corny. actually makes it... corny is not the right word. Yeah. I'm sorry. Grain. It, it tastes like wheat. Yeah. Well, like grains. Oh my god! It's still going. Yeah. Um. It's. <coughs> <laughs> it's actually a great substitute in uh, cocktails that call for like a blanco tequila or even like a white rum. It's, ah. it's an interesting, it's an interesting uh It would be up. a very different drink. I would, I could see well, it yeah. subbing yeah, yeah. for a Blanco tequila before I could see it subbing for a white rum. Next, we are going to go to our Canadian single malt whiskey. Uh, this was a gift from a friend that went and visited Nova Scotia. Doesn't say on here. I think it was Nova Scotia. Was this from Steph um, or from Teresa? Steph. Ah. Uh, this is a single malt from Canada, uh, the Glen Breton Distillery, uh, and it is a 23-year-old single malt. 63.5% alcohol by volume, so pretty intense. Nice you start to get more pours. liberal with your own pours. Um, um, I appreciate no. that you're not doing that with mine. In fact, Just trying to move everything to the left, you know? Cheers. Got a new president, y'all. <laughs> Whoa! Not what I expected. Whew. Like I said, 63 point something percent. Really spicy. That's so intense. That's yeah. way more intense than I thought. Whoa! Yeah. A lot yeah. of, like, lemony citrus, though. It's not as well bad as, like, tasting. No, it's just, it's aggressive. It was way, not, you know, I, I'm, when you, when you say Canadian whiskey to me, I don't think of a very aggressive whiskey. I think of an A whiskey. <laughs> a, nice gentle A. Not that kind our, of A. From the Great White North. The, what? I was getting into it's, like. It's whiskey, eh? Right. I was getting into like Fonzie territory. I know. That's not the same. A. Fonzie is aggressive. Let's move on to our next one. Uh, we are going to go to our Woodford Reserve. Uh, a lot of people will have this as a bourbon. This is actually the Woodford Reserve malt whiskey. Um, it's their distiller select. Funny story with this one. Um, my mom was buying Josh whiskey and she said, what do you guys need? And you're like, actually, we were running low on bourbon. And my mom bought this. Because, like, it looks much nicer. It was, like, in the bourbon section of the Well, and most people know Woodford Reserve as a bourbon. Yeah. So you I see mean, Woodford she Reserve. That. And she, just... she went into the package store and got a, um, got, went into the bourbon section and said, oh, this one looks fancy and nice. Josh will like this one. But unfortunately, it's not bourbon. So Josh was like, thank it's not, you. It's not unfortunate. But, but, but what was unfortunate about it is that we still needed bourbon. Right. <laughs> you were still out of bourbon. I think bourbon. that's when I went and bought the uh, old, granddad. old granddad. Cheers. Woodford Reserve Malt Whiskey. Oh, mm. that's so much more chill. Much more mellow. Very uh, fruity. Yeah. Like, not, not citrusy. Like, this one was intense lemon flavor. I like need some this water. This is... Yeah, have some water. Water break. Stay hydrated, kids. I am. Um, I almost. I don't think I tasted that because my my taste buds were like so shot from yeah. the thing before. I don't need another one. Don't worry. I'm good. 
All good on that one. All good. I'm kind of excited for this one, though. Yeah. I am this one. I love this one. What yeah. is this? Oh, I'm really excited for the next three. <laughs> uh, so next we, we have... this one. Yeah, we've been sitting on this amount for a while. That's because I don't um, want to be done with it. I know. Uh, Kings County chocolate whiskey. Mm -hmm. uh, chocolate flavored whiskey is what they have on here. Um, very interesting. If I, if I remember correctly, they steep cacao husks in the whiskey um, before they age it. Or maybe while, not while it's aging, before they age it, they steep it. Or maybe it's after. I don't remember when they steep it, but they get cacao husks from a local chocolate company and Do you know anything about this? Or are you just like... I know that that's the process. There's cacao I husks I just don't involved. know. They steep it in cacao husks. It it's tastes not like, like chocolate. Yeah. It's so good. But it's not like an artificial chocolate flavor situation. It smells delicious. Oh, so good. That's good. Oh. Do you want to take that one? Yeah. It's it's the one, it's the it's mine. My Wait. own, my precious. Cheers. Oh. What's nice? Like biting into a dark chocolate bar. Yeah. Yeah, definitely not milk chocolate, definitely not. Mm -mm. Uh, like artificially sweet chocolate, like really nice, high quality dark chocolate. Yeah. Um, it's almost like baking chocolate. Yeah. I'm going to give a little rinse. That's a good idea because that's a very specific flavor. Yeah, we got that for me because, yeah. I mean, come on. And this was also for me. Next up, Kings County Maple Whiskey. Yum. I don't even... Whoop. Jesus Christ, it was right at the top. Um, I think we bought this just before I got pregnant. We did. Yeah, yes. that's what happened. That's why we didn't, we were like, we, I don't think we've ever had this. It's because we bought it for me and then I got pregnant, so. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't remember what this even tastes like because we tried it I just shoved my nose so long in it, ago. that was a mistake. Well, be careful, cheers. Oh. It's really nice. Lovely. Just a, a nice, subtle, that. sweet maple flavor in with that with that whiskey. We got this before I we went to Wegmans for the first time. It's true. We, what, a, what a day. We went to the gatehouse, got some whiskey, got a little bit tipsy, went and had lunch in the Wegmans, and then went grocery shopping. How many places can you walk into a distillery tasting room, taste a bunch of great whiskey, and then walk... I don't know, 100 feet, 120 feet into a Wegmans. Moving on to uh, our last of the other category, Litchfield Distillery Coffee Bourbon. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a while since I've tasted this because I, I always forget that we have it. I wonder how you could ever forget that we have a single bottle of whiskey in this house. You know, it, all of the ones that we have, it's just, you know, just so few. So easy to keep keep straight. I'm sorry, what were you saying? I was not listening. I know. It's plenty. We're starting to get a little more, you're getting a little more sorry. liberal. Keep going to the left. All right. Coffee bourbon. Cheers. Cheers. It's good. It needs some sweetness, I think. It does. But it's, it's really little, good. I mean, yeah. just like on its own, it tastes like a cocktail that's unbalanced. Right. It tastes like a, yeah, a coffee cocktail that needed a little bit of, a little bit of sweetness or something to, to sweeten it, brighten it up. That's good. It's good though. Yeah. I got to use that in some more cocktails. Mm -hmm. All right. Done with the others. Moving on to scotch. The others. Others. For all you Lost fans out there, you remember that? Scotch. Uh, I think we have 10 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So why don't we move these ones in the back and start with the front row? All right. You ready? Yeah. Starting with our Laphroaig Kerchus Madeira cask. Let's say the Kerchus, which I read as Cardius. 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 It's Karchus. Um, it's a different one every year. It's true. It means, uh, I believe it means friendship in Gaelic. Gaelic. 
What? Whoa. Whoopsie That's what I, I was right. laughing at that. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Oh, lovely. Uh, as you can see, we have three Lefroigs here. Um, and this isn't all of the Lefroigs we have. We have two more. That's true. Uh, we've been to Lefroig. We've been to Lefroig. We've been to Isla. We've been to, we've been to parts of Scotland, but we spent time on Isla. Went to Lefroig. It's an amazing all-day distillery tour. It's Water our favorite. To whiskey. Yeah. Um, it was beautiful. Our we favorite Scotch Pete. distillery. We cut Pete. We put uh, the, we put Pete into the fire. We tried every whiskey on on property. We got to bottle our own favorite ones. Um, in Scotland, I learned that my favorite Scotch is an Isla that is that has been aged in Madeira casks. Although, well, you like you like sherry. You like sherry finished scotches. Yeah, I love a sherry finished scotch. Usually, mostly because favorite, they call them sherry butts. Butts. Um, though this this next one is my favorite. Yes, Lafroig Lore. Um, Similar to the Kerchus, it's a an expression with no age statement. Mm -hmm. um, oh, the Kerchus was um, smoky and sweet. Yes, nice and smoky, good amount of sweetness. Not um, extra smoky though, like Lore is. Lore, I can tell you without you telling, without you pouring any for me, tastes like a burnt marshmallow. Yes, you love a good burnt marshmallow. Oh, who doesn't? Lefroig Lore. This. Cheers. Was my push present. Yes. Nice and smoky, but balanced. It's got some nice sweetness. Some, yeah. Mm. Yeah. A little peaty, a little peat in there. It's just so solid, you know? Yeah. Next up, Lefroig Triple Wood. We had to get this one because it has our name on it. Yes. Just switched around a little bit. This one used to be only available. You are spilling whiskey all over the place. It's fine. It used to only be available in duty free shops. Yes. And then that stopped being the case and we got yeah. some. Yeah. It's called Triple Wood because they uh, age the whiskey in three different casks. So there you what go. What are the kinds of wood, Joshua? Oh, I don't remember. I believe it's a. So, ex bourbon barrels, quarter casks and then a final maturation in large European oak casks. No sherry butts. What the heck? Where they aged the, uh, the Lefroy, there, there's a sign that says, this was made for butts with butts on top. It's true. Cheers. Cheers. That's very good. Yeah. Much more mellow than the other two. Very chill. Um, I think those, you know, three different barrels really mellow out some of those more harsh. I don't want to say harsh because I like all of those flavors, but the more uh, aggressive or prominent smoke aggressive. flavors. Yeah. 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 If you wanted to try a smoky peaty scotch, but like wanted to do it, like but you hadn't had one before or hadn't had a good experience with it, this would be a good entry point. Yeah. Next up, Glen Scotia. You can tell that we like this one because it is, um, we, we're keeping it around and there's like a single drink of in it. It's true. This is a uh, Campbelltown scotch. I had never heard of this before we went to Scotland. This is one of the ones that we got when we went to Scotland, this bottle. Yeah. And we've been saving it because this was, this was the scotch that I was like, this is special and I've never tried it before. Um, I like I said, I've never tried a Campbelltown whiskey at all, and now if we ever go back to um, Scotland, we will go to Campbelltown. Yeah, uh, this is Glen Scotia double cask. So it is first in uh, American oak, so ex bourbon barrels, and then it is finished in sherry casks. Cheers. It smells so sweet. Oh, just mm. completely different. Mm -hmm. No peat smoke mm -mm. Uh, to be found in there, but. A nice amount of richness, a little bit of spiciness, but really nice and, and sweet with that sherry on the end. Sweet. It's really good. It's yeah. really, really tasty. Yeah. We'll have to get another bottle soon. No. Sometimes if you love something, you let you gotta it go. You got to let it go. You say, you know what? We don't need another bottle of scotch because we have 10. All right. Next up, we are going to go to... 
Well, let's stay in Isla. We probably should have paired this with the Lafroigs, but I didn't think about it. Ardbeg, also an Isla distillery. Um, Fun this fact, if you go to the Ardbeg distillery, one, they have a casting of a Tyrannosaurus Rex head. Just sitting um, on the grounds. Not head, but like skull. skull and yeah. two, um, I don't know if you know this, but in England, in the UK, in general, the food leaves something to be desired. Um, it's like they, it, it, you know, they, they make fun of white people generally, like they, the everybody, makes fun of white people for like, you know, pillaging the world for spices and not using them. That is very true in the UK. Um, or at least the more rural parts of Scotland that we were driving moly, through. Holy moly, it was like, we never salt, like we never like salt our food when we go to restaurants because like normally people have salted food properly. We were like, we need salt for yeah. everything. Um, but the cafe at Ardbeg was, had great food. Great food, delicious. Highly yes. recommend. Anyway. If you're stopping in for a whiskey, grab a bite. We didn't end up doing distillery tours of all of the different places. Um, we didn't tour Ardbeg because we didn't have time. Yeah. Um, but we did stop there. We had we tried everything on the. We like went to the tasting room and we went to we the went, cafe. Yeah. Went to the cafe and and we did a flight at the tasting room. Yeah. This is uh, Ardbeg No, which is named after uh, 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 this part of uh, Isla. It's called No. OA, but it's like, it's kind of like a oh. small peninsula. Oh. Cheers. Oh, that's way smoother than it has any right to be. Mm -hmm. There's definitely some smoke in there. It's much more um, oceany. Yeah. Than those. There's definitely, like. yeah, like salt water, oceany vibes. Um, more we so than the. We don't have any we don't have any Lagavulin. Not that we need any Lagavulin. It's not necessary. It's just, no. Um, we did a tour at Lagavulin. We did do, and we, ended, we did end up buying a bunch of bottles from Lagavulin, but we didn't keep any of them. It's true. We uh, gave them away One as was gifts. a gift for a whiskey-loving uh, friend, and then one was a both were wedding gifts gift. For, yeah. <laughs> both, both were gifts for people who liked whiskey. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, and we didn't buy a bottle for ourselves. We had too many bottles. It's true. You can only carry so many back. We'll plan better next time. I don't even know how you would do that. Uh, now we're going to go to Speyside with the Ben Uramak. Uh, this was actually um, recommended to us. We didn't buy this in Scotland, but I bought this bottle because... Uh, we tried it in Scotland. We tried it at one of the places in Edinburgh, the um, the, the bar at the whiskey. the bar at the Scotch Whiskey Experience. One of the bartenders uh, who was from the Speyside area near this distillery, um, we were trying a bunch of stuff, and he's like, "Oh, you got to try this one. It's great." So uh, I remember. Would recommend also the the restaurant Scotch Whiskey Whiskey Experience was also these. Yes. The food in Edinburgh, there was there's good food in Edinburgh. It was just like the smaller countryside towns. Oh man, it and, was and Isla was a little rough as well. But you know, it was fine. It was just yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Ben Ramak. I have to tell you, I can't taste as much right now. It's definitely more mellow. Um sweet. It's got a little bit of like uh lemony citrus in there. Um, some like cane sugar. That's good. Sure. That's great. After we probably should have ended with the uh, the Lafroigs and the Ardbegs. Um, but who cares? This what, we are what are we doing here? Lefroigs. This is just for us. We are ending with Lafroigs. But I mean, all of them. Sure. Um, moving on. Sorry, were you saying something? I was gonna say the Scotch whiskey experience is ridiculous. There's a funny little uh, ride that you go on. Um. Which is very silly, but then the, you ride in the a guided, whiskey barrel. You ride in a whiskey barrel, you learn the history of, we were, of whiskey. We went on our first day, so we were super jet lagged. Like we flew in and that day we did that thing and we you are you have for well, Oh my god. It was more full than I thought. Uh, it's okay, how you doing? We don't have that many left. It's all good. Oh my god. Um but I remember like almost 
Like it, it sitting in that barrel and almost falling asleep. Yes. Um, but then we saw the world's largest collection of scotch, which is True. cool. It's really cool. And the bar there is very cool. Yeah. And they do like a nice guided, little guided whiskey tasting. And they have like a scratch and sniff card for all the different regions mm -hmm. of, of uh, scotch, the scotch producing regions. Um, it's cool. It's fun. People I recommend are Scotland. It. Cheers. This is the Loch Lomond uh, 12 year. Bonnie, Bonnie Banks of Loch Lomond. Oh, this is good, but why do we own this? Uh, this to us? Your dad. Okay. Yeah. I forget why. There was a reason. He got a good deal on it. Um, and it was for something. There was an occasion. It's good. Uh, I just yeah. don't. Yeah. It's not uh, remarkable, it's not amazing, but it's a decent, easy drinking, uh, you know, 12 year scotch. I mean, look, if, if someone handed me a glass of that, I would be very happy. Yeah. But I just don't know, I, I was confused as to why we owned it. Yeah. We drove through Loch Lomond. We did, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, if you Which wanted to watch road. a video of us just talking about Scotland without oh, knowing yeah. it, here you go. <laughs> oh. Or you can comment down below and we can talk about our whole trip. That's true. We could, yeah, do a little play-by-play. -play. Yeah. Let us know. Uh, monkey Shoulder blended scotch. Uh, it's the only blended scotch we have. Um, well, technically. I mean, the lore is probably, you know, blended. The lore is but... blended, so is the Karchus. Yeah. Uh, and so is the, the Glen Scotia. Anything that doesn't have an age statement is blended. Right? Yes and no. A blended scotch can they can source well, they can actually, source the liquid they can source the liquid from different distilleries. Lafroy oh. Lore is a blend. I mean, like all of their things are a blend. Everything is a blend. Everything's a blend. Unless it's because they're barrel. using yeah, because they're using this a bunch isn't of different blends. That's true. We're gonna get to that. We'll get to that. Monkey shoulder blended scotch. Uh, oh my god! I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Excuse you. I'm so sorry. Oh. Nice, tasty. Mm. I guess. It's got some vanilla notes in there. Uh, really nice to use if you want just like a easy drinking highball. Just some of this and some soda water. I didn't like it. Nice and chilled, lemon twist, yum. It tastes like rye. All I right. don't like it. All right, that's fair. Monkey shoulder refers to, uh, it's, it's a term that they used to use for the malt men in scotch okay. distilleries because they would they would hand turn all of the grain so it wouldn't mold when it was uh, germinating or malting. They still do that. Some places will still hand turn it, but they also have machines that they just run over and turn. Right. Well, the, to okay, avoid. So they do still they still because turn they, it, but they don't do it with a shovel. Yeah. When they would shovel, they would get one shoulder that was way bigger than the older, and they called it your monkey shoulder. Hence. Way bigger than the other, not way bigger than the older. Which is what my husband just said. Did I say that? Mm -hmm. Did I say that? Wonder why. Moving on to our final. next final two. two scotches. Final two scotches. Special. We, I want to do yours first. We yes. with this one. So these uh, bottles, as we said, we went and did a tour of Laphroaig. We did an all day special tour. And part of the tour was uh, they had, what was it, three or four? Three. Three barrels. Um, we went into part of the the uh, the uh, Rick house or the warehouse where they store the barrels and they had pulled three uh, casks um, and we got to pull samples from those casks and then decide which one we wanted to bottle for ourselves and take home. And take home. Um, so we uh, each bottled different ones when we were there. Um, so and it was really cool. The Cassie Wood Triplet bottled on 28th of August, 2017. Cask number five, year 2005. The ABV on this one is 54.8. The volume is 250 milliliters. And it's, this, is, this is bottle number 335. Mine uh, bottled on the same day. The cask number is 668. Year is, was 2006 uh, when it was put into the cask. Not when we bottled it. No. 
ABV is 58.4%. Higher. Volume is the same, 250 milliliters. Bottle number 368. Which is interesting oh, oh, because... Oh, because, I mean, actually, that is that is interesting because of the... I mean, there were only four people total on our tour. Yeah. I think, actually, no, two people chose this one, and I think two people chose this one. But they were... It was another couple. So yeah. they, they also just did this one and this one because these were the two best ones. Yeah. The other the other one was good. It just wasn't... Yeah. Um, so as you can cool. see, the, the color difference... This one was uh, finished in a sherry cask. This one was not, which is, is why you see that that nice color difference. Gorgeous. We we'll yeah. save this one for last because it's the best one. So we're gonna taste a little bit of this one. You know, looking at the two of the these, you would think that you would had more to celebrate in the past three years. I've had more tastes of this one. We we normally um, don't drink these. Yeah, as you can see, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but there's even some charred bits of barrel in there mm -hmm. which uh i don't know if that's good for you or bad but yeah oh well fine. i'm Cheers. not pregnant anymore i can do whatever i want whoa mm. that's so different from everything else we just drank mm -hmm. Ooh, that's so good that tastes almost like very warm. nice yeah very nice peaty um a lot of sweetness to it, not a lot of nice sugars in there. Um, I also get a little bit of ocean quality from this one that I didn't mm -hmm. get from the other Laphroaigs, which... Laphroaig isn't super um, oceany, generally. Yeah. I mean... Like Lagavulin can, pretty, can be pretty, like, oily and briny. That's why I mentioned Lagavulin bag. before, is because Lagavulin, the woman who we did... So we, we also did... Uh, a quicker distillery tour of Lagavulin. We just like we did the the quicker one. They like showed us around and gave us one taste, which was like beautiful. And then like it turns out that if you ever go to Scotland, if you like hang out and like talk to the people who are leading the tour, and also this goes for any distillery tour. Goes for tour. any distillery tour. If you if you just kind of like hang out, hang out and schmooze with your tour and guide cool. and yeah, and just like have a great conversation. I mean, not that we're cool. We're not cool. Oftentimes, like, another bottle will come out that you can have a taste of. Or like many. They'll just like give you taste of whatever you want. For better or worse, you know. You know, you get wasted. It's fun. But like, you know, I, that's how we tried that really gross wild rice whiskey at Kings County. That's true. The one and only run they ever did of that. It was bad. Yeah. But that's also how we tried the Empire Rye. Yes. And look what happened. Yeah. Got and we got to... Eight or nine bottles of just that. Yeah. Moving on to Cassie's uh, bottling. The best one. All right, calm down. It's the best one. It's the best one. Get out of the mic. Jesus. <laughs> no. It's no. No. Cheers, Do you me. Want me to try some Cheers, scotch? me. I hate this. <laughs> I'll stop. Already smells very different. Yeah. It smells much sweeter. It's really nice. It's got a richness that the other one didn't have. Doesn't really have that ocean quality. Not at all. Um, it's still smoky. Still smoky. It's got a much uh, like more rich sweetness to it. And it's a little more balanced. I keep on starting the story and not finishing it. What story? The story, the story of the woman who went at Lagavulin, who said that oh. she, what, like, she thinks about Lagavulin, like, like standing on the bow of a ship, yeah, getting hit by waves, and I was like, and that was one of the things that I was like, wow, that sounds deeply unpleasant, um, but it, it is a, I guess, a but tasting then you drink note. The whiskey, and you're like, oh, like I guess oh, this okay. kind of does okay. taste like being cold on the bow of a ship, getting hit by waves. Yeah, why not? But also, yeah, the, the tasting notes for scotch make, it's like pirate tasting notes. It's like, you know. Sea life. Yeah. Sea life. Life on the sea, not like, you know, anemones and. Maybe though. Et cetera. Couldn't think of any other thing from the ocean. <laughs> a fish? A shark? Yeah. None a whale? Of them. None of them. <laughs> no. Um, All right. I have. Anyway. One more thing in store for you. So let's get these bottles out of the way. 
Oh no, are we doing the infinity? <laughs> All right, so uh, as you as you may have noticed earlier, this old granddad is is pretty low. Um, and normally I wouldn't I would maybe wait until this was a little lower to do what I'm going to do, but for the sake of this video, we're going to go ahead and add this to my infinity whiskey. Um, I didn't for, know we were doing this. <laughs> for those who don't know, uh, this is like a, a thing in the, the whiskey nerd community um, where you, because oftentimes you'll have like a tiny little bit left in a bottle. Um, so people have started just collecting all of those tiny little bits into a bottle um, and it makes for an interesting special one of a kind uh, thing, good or bad, that you can me. that you can have your guests taste. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like when you go to a bar and they give you like a, a random shot and it's like basically just like the drippings off the bar mat. That's what this reminds me of. Here we go. I, it's not that, because that's disgusting. This is just fine. I was going to rinse this out to be like, oh, we were trying something new. But no, that's actually, why, why would I do such a thing? So some people will write every single bottle they've added into their Infinity Whiskey. I've just kept a tally of how many are in here. So uh, once I add this, that will be nine different whiskeys. Do you remember what they are? I remember some of them. I don't remember all of them. <laughs> well, you're not a very good whiskey nerd. That's plenty. I'm excited, actually. I don't think I've ever tried this. <laughs> yeah, I have. I have. Uh, I haven't tasted it in a while. I think I tasted it at like five. I like that you put December eighteenth on it, as if like. No, that's December two thousand eighteen. That's when I started it. Oh, I was like, as if you know the year. And I forgot. There were a couple of bottles that I finished and there wasn't enough in there to make sense or, or anything like that. But cheers. Oh. That's that, okay. That smells. That smells like baking spice. That like that, that sm it smells like menthol and cinnamon. But what is baking spice? <laughs> Just going to hurt me once we stop filming. Cheers. Did we already cheers? Ha ha! Joke's on you. We'd already cheers. That uncheers this. That's bad. There's a really weird herbalness, like herbaceousness. But I'm getting some like fig. Why does this not taste anything like whiskey? It's a good question. It doesn't taste like whiskey at all. I don't I know. I mean, it's what definitely it a like. mixture. I mean, there's bourbon in there, there's rye, there's scotch. That's so weird. Hmm. You made something new. That's right. It's not like good, but it is new. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're not he he wasn't aiming, you weren't like trying for anything here. It's no, not, I'm not I'm not like actively blending whiskeys together because I think they'll go well together. It's just when there's something very little left at the bottom, it's going in the bottle. We'll see what happens. <laughs> it was not good. Not good, but I thought it was a good way to cap this video off. Uh, yeah, no, it's 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 a good way. I was actually thinking, I was going to ask you if you were going to try that, but then I was like, oh, no, 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 we're fine. We don't need to. But it's a good way. It's, it's also a good way to think about, like, the fact that all of these whiskeys taste so different. Oh, yeah. That mixing you know nine together of the 30 that we have yeah like make something that tastes completely separate and not at all even like whiskey really yeah so there is such a wide breadth okay hold on uh in you know normal fashion for this type of video that i've done in the past which is just one before this i forgot a couple of bottles um so we do have one more than we originally counted. This one I did count originally. I just forgot to pull it. These are both from the other category. Um, this is a uh, corn whiskey that was uh, finished or rested in Syrah casks from a distillery called Matchbook um, out on Long Island. Um, cool distillery. Very cool distillery. They do a lot of cool things, a lot of uh, collaborations with 
uh, farms and farmers using things that you wouldn't normally distill or uh, you know, stuff that the farmers can't sell, you know, produce and stuff like that. Really cool. Check them out. Matchbook distilling. And this is a sweater. Yes. This is a bottle sweater, uh, originally from Maker's Mark. It's so um, cute! <laughs> in the Christmas spirit. Um, and it is covering Clyde May's Alabama whiskey. Um, you won so that in a, an Instagram contest. I did win this in an Instagram contest, uh, oh, which was funny. As well funny. As, as well as as well as this decanter set here. This um, this little sweater is too big. It's too small for a baby. I I That's true. you know I'm looking at it and I'm like, our child could have never fit inside no, of this sweater. Even when he was brand spanking new. No, he had a big head. Yeah. So I had to have a C-section. That is not why I had to have a C-section. He did have but a big head, though. C-section did happen. Yes. So why don't we start with our Clyde Mays Alabama whiskey. Um, you having fun over there? <laughs> Hello. All right. <laughs> a couple of last surprise tastes. Cheers. Do you... Totally inoffensive. Nice, easy drinking. Got good sweetness to it. Yeah. Yeah. It's got sweetness, but also some grassiness. Yeah. It's decent. Grassiness, like a light fruitiness. I bet it would be good in a cocktail. Yeah. Ooh, Moon man. Lake from Matchbook Distilling. I have not had this much to drink in a long time. Sorry. It's fine. There's a little I... bit for you. That's more. Okay. It's no, it's an oops. I poured myself too much, but that's fine. I have been drinking lately. You tried this one before and oh, you, you didn't, didn't like, like it. it. Yeah. So let's see if I don't like it again. This one's really interesting because it's not really aged. Ugh. It's don't shove your nose in it. That's a no, mistake. It's 50% alcohol. It's 100 proof. Cheers. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know. Mm. No. Oh, it got worse. I, it was okay at first, and I didn't like it. I do like it. It's a little aggressive being 100 proof and being um, unaged, essentially. What, why, the Syrah why is the end so bad? Why? I don't know. I don't what know. happened at the end there that my mouth is like... I think a lot of that grain yeah. flavor came, came through. Yeah, it just like punched me in the teeth. I actually get some nice like strawberry flavors from it, personally. I think that's the Syrah cask influence. But now, officially, we've tasted all of the whiskeys. Great. Why don't you put the sweater back on our friend there? This friend? Yes. Hello. Wow. Hello, all right. we're all talking. Right. All right, oh, put, oh, put oh. his sweater back on. It's on. All right. <laughs> now, Cassie. Yes. To finish out the video, what was your favorite and your least favorite from our collection? Should, should I say least favorite or favorite first? Let's go least favorite. Oh man, I think that my least favorite was that last was that last one. The Moon Lake. Yeah. Yeah, just a little too grain forward. It. I don't love a grain forward. Like that's my least favorite flavor in terms of whiskey. Is like that grainy. Yeah grassy flavor and we don't have a lot in our bar that reflects that those flavors there are lots of ryes that do there are lots of whiskeys that do and they're not my favorites and that coupled with the fact that it's not aged at all so like so it's not really so you're not really supposed to drink it on its own plus depends right but like most people probably wouldn't want to drink that on its own um that and the the white rye i didn't like all right. Those are the two that made me go. Huh. All right. And your favorite? Um, I am tempted to say that my personal bottle of sure. personal Lafroy gets my favorite. Yeah. And it is. But I think that, you know, for a thing that another human could purchase, um, I would say the Lafroy lore is yeah. my favorite. And like that's not a surprise to me. It is my favorite whiskey. There are lots, though. There were a couple in there that surprised me that I liked. Yeah. Um, and there were some that I had forgotten that we even had. So that was nice. Yeah. How could you? <laughs> like, how could I? 
Look at all these chickens. My least favorite um, was probably. Well, that's hard. Let's say like I've, all, I've picked all of them for one reason or another. Right. Okay. So say, what's your what was your least favorite to drink just on its own? Just on its own tonight. Um, probably the 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 coffee bourbon. Really. I think I think so. I think at least in in this context, in this in this drinking tonight, um, I think that was the one that was my least favorite. I don't think it's like I, it's not that I don't like it or that it's actually made. Oh, like, what about that Canadian bourbon? The, the Canadian, Canadian single malt. Yeah, I had forgotten about that one. I also didn't like that one very much. I liked it. Of course you did. <laughs> um, my favorite. The coffee bourbon really, like, your least favorite out of all of them to drink on its own. You would rather drink the white rye on its own than the coffee whiskey. Really. Because the coffee whiskey you could drink on its own. Like, a person who doesn't like whiskey could drink on its own. I mean, it, you know, if you ask me tomorrow, it would probably change. You're wrong. All right. No. I'm wrong about what no. my least favorite No, because it's, it's not, you're, you're not, I don't think you're thinking about this correctly. Cause like it, it you know wasn't what maybe your favorite, you know you know like, what you know what it actually is the 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 Loch Lomond twelve year because it was it it's just it was so middle of the road like yeah you coughed totally fine. after drinking the white rye you went <coughs> no I didn't yes you did no I didn't roll the tape I'll do it in the edit cheers. Hmm. 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 Anyway, my favorite was the Copper Sea Bottled in Bond Empire Rye. There were so many middle of the road ones. There were so many All that right. were middle of you the road. You gotta move on. No, no, no. You cannot say no. I will not, I will not let you sit here okay, and blast Okay, so what me. was, okay, let me ask you, what was my least favorite? The camera's know. gonna die, so... <laughs> Why don't you keep going until it dies, and then I'll have to do the intro another time. Outro, you. Outro. I've had some whiskey. Why don't you Wee. stop messing with the bar? All right. The Infinity anyway. Whiskey was your least favorite. Uh, actually, maybe it yeah. was. That's right. actually the truth. All right. Because that was bad, and that might have also been my least but favorite. But you should start your own bottle of Infinity Whiskey. Yeah. Anyway... Thank you for joining us here in the club. Leave a comment, like the video, subscribe. We'd love to see you subscribe. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. I'm talking wop, wop, wop. Wah, wah, wah. Wah.